The 1970s often are viewed as a decade of misplaced expectations. Who can blame lenders for putting their money to work in such productive ways? And who can blame farmers for trying to become more competitive? Yet the sad truth is that agriculture, like any endeavor, will always have some who fail. And their numbers were magnified during the farm crisis. Well, there were periods in the 80s where nothing worked. I mean, if it was cattle, they weren't making any money. If the hogs weren't making any money, hogs were disastrously low in 1980. Uh, the wheat, corn, and beans were disastrously low in the marketplace. Everything, at some points, weren't working. Everything that we produced was at a loss. You can't do that for very long. And I think that was one of the problems we had in the 1980s is we were slow to respond because of resistance that some of these people deserved to fail because after all they were, they were high rollers, they were lined hogs, they, they were big wheels, they got too big for their britches. I've heard all of those stories. And indeed, there was some of that. But for the vast majority of people, they were just like you and I, they were trying to make a living. They, they did the best, made the best decisions they could based on the advice they got. The farm crisis of the 1980s accelerated a long established trend of farmers leaving the land and farms being consolidated. In 1935, the number of farms in the U.S. reached an all-time high of 6.8 million. By 1990, there were only 2.1 million farms. There has been a rapid increase in the number of acres operated by a, a single farm enterprise. That uh, trend toward uh, very large farms uh, was initiated uh, during the 1980s, and it continues unabated up to the present day. Now, there is a concurrent ongoing trend also for the development of small uh, family farming enterprises, mostly organic, that uh, is uh, producing many new farm people. So um, uh, we would probably not have these changes had not uh, the farm crisis of the 80s uh, ushered in uh, some of these shifts in the, the demographics of farming.